Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and today we're taking a look at the Tello Drone. Now, this looks like a toy drone, but the reason why this drone has been getting so much notoriety is that even though it is not branded by DJI, uh, DJI has a lot of components that they have been responsible for building into this unit. As a matter of fact, you can even buy this drone from the DJI official web store. And a lot of the sensors uh, that are on board this little tiny drone uh, are from DJI. And so it's being kind of dubbed as the DJI Tello drone. And even though it is a toy drone uh, and it's only $99, you know, which is a lot cheaper compared to the very, very expensive drones, a lot of people have been ranting and raving about this drone. And so I had to pick it up and just wanted to find out how good is this little drone actually. And so this is my review of this drone, the, the DJI Tello drone. So I have a little bit of experience playing around with drones, both cheaper drones and expensive drones, uh, dr camera drones that are higher end. And then I've also got experience playing around with like, you know, low end camera drones that are maybe more of the racing uh, style drone. And um, and so this is kind of my perspective. I'm, I'm the, the typical consumer when it comes to drones. The typical consumer with a little bit of experience with both, you know, DJI drones and some cheaper toy drones as well. And so I'm hoping to kind of lend that perspective to you guys here with the Tello drone uh, because it is obviously a consumer drone. Uh, but the big thing that I really want to focus in on on the Tello drone is the camera capabilities. Uh, the camera on the Tello drone is being touted as a high end camera or a higher end camera for this expensive of a drone. And, um, um, and so that's really something that uh, they're really the market hasn't seen is a $99 drone that has a good camera on it. Now, real quickly, before we get to the actual camera review, let's just talk about the app. The app is laid out very well. You can definitely tell that um, it was an intuitive design that's been applied here. Uh, and it's very reminiscent of DJI's main DJI app, but it's obviously been stripped down to be applied to the DJI Tello drone. And it's very intuitive. Intuitive. The controls are easy. I found that all of the uh, default settings on the controls were, were great. And so there, I didn't really need to tamper with anything uh, in regards to the app. And you know, you have automatic takeoff, automatic landing. Um, you'll have different flight modes that you can access and you can go watch other reviews to um, you know see all of that information. I just wanted to kind of put on record that the app is great. Um, it's worked really, really well. All of the different flight modes like tap to landing or or doing a hand landing, all of those have worked really well. Uh, the flipping feature is really cool. So again, all of the modes and all of the features have worked flawlessly. They've been very intuitive to use. So it's a fun drone to fly. So at the very least, if you're looking for an affordable, fun drone to fly that has some of the advanced features that you might expect from a much more expensive drone and some just fun features like flipping and automatic landing and you know some of that stuff, and the ability to just have, a, to be a really stable drone in the air, this drone provides all of that. It's a really dummy proof drone. Uh, and in terms of it just being a first drone, I highly recommend it in terms of it just being a good beginner drone. But one of the things that I really wanted to take a look at that I felt you know a lot of other uh, reviews haven't done is to provide you guys with some real uh, actual sample footage and talk about if the camera and the video on this are any good. So the video footage you're seeing here is some of the first footage that I shot using the drone, um, completely raw, unedited, no color correction or anything like that. Um, and the very first thing that I noticed was first that the drone was really steady in the air for not being a GPS drone. The little cameras and sensors on the bottom of the drone did a really good job locking the drone into the air, keeping it balanced in spite of the fact that there was a lot of wind and whatnot. Um, now I did notice that even though in, pro in terms of proximity, I was close to the drone, that I was getting this stuttering uh, video effect on all of the video that I was taking. So initially I thought that maybe the video setting that I had on it was too high, that the bit rate was 
too high for um, the camera to be able to, uh, you know, record all of that data in a fluid way. So I tried adjusting the bit rate and lowering it in the app to see if that would actually smooth out the video. And actually, as soon as I did that, I actually got worse results. Lowering the bit rate made the video even uh, more jittery and it definitely certainly made it grainy and really unusable. And so, uh, it, you know, lowering the bit rate and fooling around with the video quality settings didn't really do a whole lot in terms of smoothing out uh, the video quality, even though, again, like I'm close to the drone, it's not like I was far away. So even though the flight capabilities of this drone are excellent for the $99 price point, I was really disappointed uh, in the video quality in the way that it would just kind of jump and, ha and have these weird um, just aberrations in the video. And so I, I was disappointed enough where I'm, I think I'm going to end up returning the drone just because the video uh, was not what I had hoped and expected it to be. Now, the photo quality of this drone, the photo experience was actually a lot different. Um, this is definitely a uh, competent photo drone. Uh, so I'll get to that here in a second, but I also wanted to address how the, there's a latency on the controls. Obviously you're flying with your phone, and so there's a little bit of a latency um, between your phone and what the drone does. And that latency was enough for me to crash the drone a couple of times where I, I thought I was going to miss a tree, but I hit the tree. And every time that I hit a tree, the the drone uh, would break or a propeller because they're very, very brittle propellers compared to other drones that I've used in the past. So be prepared if you decide to buy this to go through a lot of propellers. But other than that, the drone is very, very durable and I was impressed at how hard I could hit trees and it would just rebound and I would swap out a propeller and it would be back in the air in no time. Now the camera capabilities of this drone are actually pretty good, especially if there's good lighting. Now I did take some pictures indoors and as you can see, there's there's definitely some graininess. The camera um, just didn't do great indoors, but outdoors I always got really crisp results. Even with a bit of cloud cover, the camera was taking some very sharp pictures, you know, for a $99 drone. So if you're looking for a good beginner camera drone that has the capabilities to be very steady in the air, uh, something that's affordable, um, then I would definitely recommend this. Again, you're gonna have to pick up some spare props because you're gonna accidentally hit trees or twigs and it's gonna break those props and you're gonna need to replace them. Uh, but they're cheap props that you can pick up on Amazon and uh, you can also pick up the Tello drone on Amazon so I'm gonna put some purchase links in the description below if you're looking to, you know to kind of get into uh, a little bit of droning hey guys thanks for watching my name is Eric and I'm the techie agent we'll catch you next time